Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today I have a really fun video for you guys. I've kind of filmed it in like sections. This first part where I'm going to talk a little bit and then the thrifting portion and then obviously the haul. But today's video is about um, thrifting and just shopping in general for secondhand vintage Christmas gifts in general. So um, I'm going to talk a little bit about my idea of like what really good thrifted vintage Christmas gifts are and like ideas for those and things that I think are kind of universally easy to find and make good gifts. And then I'm also going to take you guys thrifting with me and then we'll do a haul. But before we get into that, I want to talk a little bit about today's sponsor. So the sponsor of this video today is Karma. And if you guys don't know, Karma is a Google Chrome extension that allows you to, well, it does a bunch of things actually. It gives you coupons, it saves your products so that you can go back and it'll notify you whenever they go on sale or they have a price drop or your size comes back in stock. I've actually used Karma for a while now. It used to be called Shop Tagger um, and then it changed its name. Before I show you how to use it, I just wanted to tell you guys really quickly about a way that I've used it recently. So I've used it before for for just shopping for various things but recently I've been addicted to the function of beauty shampoo and I actually just got out of the showers so my hair's like kind of wet but um I have been buying their shampoo with a coupon code from karma and um just saving it obviously to my products so that when it does go on sale or obviously like Black Friday, there were tons of sales, but in addition to that, any other time that they go on sale, it will notify me. I am going to kind of just go quickly through how to download the extension and how to use it because as you guys know, I've talked about this before on here, but I am not a tech person. I suck at using just the computer and so i want to show you guys how easy it is to actually use this and use karma so yeah i'm just going to show you guys on the screen really quick how to use it so basically to download karma you want to go to the google chrome store and search karma and then you can click on the install button and it'll install it to your computer it'll take you to the karma homepage where you can create an account and log in and then you'll be able to start getting notifications and coupons for any products that you save a little bit about the lists. Lists are really helpful for me because it helps me kind of organize my products in a way that's easy to see and it's almost like a personal like Pinterest page which is really fun. And then when you're downloading and saving an item onto your Karma, you can save it to a particular list so it's easier to find. Another really cool feature that Karma has is that Karma actually scans the internet for codes and coupons to automatically apply at checkout. There's also the option of Karma Cash that gives you cash back when you spend and also donates a percentage of the money to a really great cause. So overall, Karma is just a super, super helpful way to shop in a way that saves money, that's smarter, that helps you save on those kind of more expensive brands or pieces that you've been eyeing. Um, you can download Karma through this link that I have right here. It's a personalized link. You can just go ahead and get the extension straight through that link. Right, let's get to the rest of the video. So, like I said before, we are going to be thrifting for thrifted Christmas gifts. So I've kind of feel like there's mixed opinions on this. Some people are like, oh, I would never want to gift something that was secondhand. Oh, I would never want to get something that's secondhand. But I think that we can kind of change the perspective on that, especially if you're shopping for and, and gifting and buying these really high quality items and things that someone really wants. I mean, I feel like so many times you can go in the thrift store and buy a vintage wool sweater that's 10 times higher quality than an H&M sweater and it will last the person so much longer. So obviously clothing is on list, although in my opinion, I think that clothing is one of the harder items to thrift and gift to someone. I think the easier items are more home decor based items, books, things like that. And so a few of the things that I'm gonna be looking for today when we go shopping are books, because I think that those can make a really great gift, especially if it's a vintage book or a special edition, or maybe a book that they already really love that's like a vintage hard copy version of that book. I love giving stuff like that. So I think shopping for vintage vessels, so 
pots, planters, containers, anything like that, vintage pottery, is a really, really cool thing to gift someone because it can be home decor, it can be something that you put a plant in, and it's vintage, so you're not just gonna walk into Target and find that piece. And thrifting people Christmas gifts actually take so much thought because you're really thinking, what does this person want? How can this fit into their life? And then searching for a product and it takes time. Like I think that's what we forget is it's easy to go on Amazon and buy someone a pair of sneakers or a sweater, but going into the thrift store and thrifting someone something takes so much time. And I think that's part of the gift. Anyways, getting back to other items I think are great. Um, particularly when you're kind of putting together like a little gift basket, I love the idea of doing like candles, a little pot with goodies in it, um, a basket itself is a great gift. So giving someone a gift basket, putting it all in a vintage basket and obviously they get to keep the basket. So I think that's an amazing gift as well. I feel like we should just get to thrifting and once I find some items, I'll show you guys and then we can kind of talk about who I'm gonna gift them for, why I picked them out, and all of that. So, let's do it. really cool croquet set. That is so cool. <laughs> it's so cute in its little cart. That That's it adorable. The, um, Pickets or whatever. Wicked. Are these like legit? Yeah.
This is a cute picture. Eric. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that little thrifting segment. I was gonna say I'm back from thrifting, but I've been already standing here filming the other parts of the video. So we're back, um, I hope you enjoyed it. Also, before I get into the haul, I wanna say, um, if you enjoy this video and you like videos like this, please subscribe, please like and give a comment. Let me know if you'll be thrifting any Christmas gifts this year or kind of what you think of the idea in general. That would be awesome. So I got a ton of stuff ton of really, really cool stuff. I'm actually super pleased with the things that I found. So I'm gonna start with the books that I found because that was kind of the first thing that I talked about in the earlier portion of this video. I'm gonna show you the decor kind of books first. I got a lot of these, so I'm gonna just show them to you all quickly. But one of the things that I always keep my eye out for is the cover underneath of the paper, like, what is that called? The jacket? I don't even know. The cover, the paper cover. So what this part actually looks like. And so this is, I got, I think like five or six of these, the Reader's Digest collection of just like random bestsellers of the time. I'm not exactly sure how old these are, but they are so beautiful. That pattern is just lovely. And I think that a little set of these would make such a cute gift to someone that loves reading or has a little library or an office and they're trying to dress it up. So I found this little guy, this one, which I love. I think this is such a cute pattern as well. Blue kind of floral pattern. So freaking cute. And even this part is really pretty. These are in great condition. Um, so I'm just really excited about these. This one, which is more of like a creamy color, which I think is so pretty. And then last but not least, just knock some off, last but not least, this one, which I love. It's like this creamy and blue pattern. You guys know I love blue and white. So this is such a cute. So I guess like imagine with me for a minute, these little guys like sitting on a shelf or just being used as decor. I mean, how cute are these? So, huge fan of gifting a little set. You can like tie it up with a little ribbon or something and then the person can just kind of use it as decor. I mean, they can read them if they want. I don't really know what stories these are, but you can read them. So the next kind of book that I talked about was like a book that either has sentimental value or a book that they can actually read. And when I'm looking for those, I tend to look for a vintage copy. And I was lucky I found two of that kind of book. So the first one, is this really stunning sage green copy of Wuthering Heights. It's definitely vintage. It has this beautiful gold text right here. And then it's actually in great condition. So I think I'm gonna give this to my sister because I know that she loves this book and she loves Emily Bronte and Charlotte Bronte literature. So I'm gonna thrift this, or thrift, I'm gonna give this to her. Such a cute gift. And then the other book that I found, I think this one is stunning and it kind of looks like those Reader's Digest, but this is actually a copy of the collected works of William Shakespeare, which like, how cool is that? Like, I don't know if you ever, I don't feel that I'm not like a huge reader, but if you had like an urge to read Shakespeare and you just like pulled this out, how like romantic and vintage would you feel? Like what a cool feeling, I don't know. I just, this has like all the classics, Romeo and Juliet, Hamlet, such a freaking pretty book. I'm like considering keeping this one for myself because it's so pretty. So those are all of the books that I have. Now let's move on to more like pottery, glassware and things like that. 
night. I'm going to try really hard to remember to tell you guys prices. So those books I got from the bins and I think they were like 25 cents a piece. So obviously super cheap. Um, but the next thing that I have for you to show you guys is this little set. I'll show you the teapot first. So it's a little tea set and I left the price on here so I wouldn't forget. So this was $3 and it is this super cool kind of mid-century modern style teapot with like a marbled kind of veining in it. And it's just so cool. And like, I love the idea. I'm trying to see if it said where it was made. Um, it's definitely vintage and I love the idea of giving someone like a little teapot and like a teacup and some tea bags in a basket like what a freaking cute gift and so that came with this little like creamer I'm assuming um and it's super cute this was three dollars as well so six dollars in total for both which in my mind I'm like oh six dollars for thrifted but then I'm like oh my gosh if you compare that to like what you would buy if you were going into a regular retail store so much cheaper so this is a little creamer that goes with it. And I just think that is an adorable set and makes for such a cute gift. Um, along the same vein, so talking about pottery and things like that, I found this little stone, stoneware, super heavy, super sturdy bowl. It has this really cute blue stripe, definitely vintage, super adorable. It was made in the USA, handcrafted pottery. I love stuff like this, so timeless and I think this would make a super cute gift for like an animal lover like myself. <laughs> so imagine giving someone this as like a dog food bowl or a cat food bowl with like little dog treats in it and a little like dog toy or something like that's an adorable gift, right? So cute. Oh, and that was $4. So the little stoneware thing was $4. Next, I, I know I talked about this earlier, so just little vintage terracotta pots with plants in them. So my idea when I found this was if you kind of had three of them and you put like little herbs and then you just gifted them to someone, I love that idea. I love the idea of gifting someone some little pots with plants. And so this guy was $1. And I know you can probably buy these for cheaper at like your local garden center, um, but I like the fact that this is vintage and it already has a patina and some wear on it which just makes it really special so idea of kind of putting little plants and then giving this as a gift love that i almost forgot i have more books to show you guys so these are fun because these kind of go in both categories these are not only great for decor but these i think you can actually use and read so i found this set of three vintage children's books and they all have a super cute little like illustration on the front. And there's obviously more of them. They're part of a collection because you can see that they're numbered, but I just picked up these three. So the ones that I got are Animal Friends and Adventures, Poems of Early Childhood and Life in Many Lands. And not only do these make super cute decoration, you give them to someone having a baby soon or someone that has a young kid, but they have beautiful illustrations on the inside. Like seriously, this is one of my favorite hauls I've done in a while, guys. Like I love all of this stuff. So I have kind of this whole little section of, you guys know that I am obsessed with candles. I'm obsessed with candlesticks, with taper candles, with regular candles. So I found a couple different candle things because I think who doesn't like getting a candle, whether it's for decoration or to burn, both of which you can find in the thrift store. So I found these two beautiful taper candle holders. Um, they're just like a stoneware. They're definitely vintage. So these together were $3. They came as a set. And I just think pairing this with some really pretty bright colored taper candles is such a sweet gift. Along that same vein is this adorable kind of Dutch themed candle holder that I'm actually going to keep for myself because it's so cute and I love it as Christmas decor, but it's the same type of thing. This was $3 and how cute is that in a gift basket? I love that. And since we're talking about candles and candle holders, I thought I would show you guys some candles that I actually did find. So these are some beeswax light green taper candles. And I think for a set of six of these, it was $4, which is a little pricey. But then once again, when you think about it in the scheme of things, not that pricey. So I love the idea of sticking these into a gift basket or pair them with a candle holder and give that as a gift. 
I also found these plain white taper candles that are really beautiful and they've actually, I mean, whenever I'm looking for candles, I will say I want to get something that's obviously never been burned. So you want fresh ones, like ones that are either still in the packaging like those or like these that are like still attached to the top and they've clearly never actually been used. So I think these are such a cute addition to a gift basket or to give to someone that's interested in decorating. And speaking of gift baskets, I just wanted to show you guys a basket that I found. This actually came as a set. So it had these two little guys. This was $3 for the set of these. Um, and I just think these are such a great high quality little basket. Put your goodies in there and give that to someone. Such a cute idea. And then the last two things that I found are, um, one of them is a toy and then the other one is an accessory. So the toy is so cute, guys. I'm sure you all have seen these. These are little sock monkeys. Um, this is like a little sock monkey dude. And I found this at Goodwill, never been used, still had the tag on it in pristine condition. It was $4, which is a little expensive, but the fact that it's literally never been used, how cute is this to give in a stocking to someone, to a kid on Christmas morning? And that's what's so cool is when you go into Goodwill, you never know what you're gonna find when you go into a vintage store or anything. You could find something that literally still has the tag on it and is in perfect condition. And I think that's kind of a common misconception is people think, oh, you're thrifting it, it's gonna be old and gross and dingy. Definitely not the case. Nothing that I've thrifted here was in bad condition or dingy or gross. And I think that's just important to kind of say is no, when you're thrifting things, a lot of times, most of the stuff is in really great condition or you can find things that are in really great condition. So last but not least, um, this is an accessory and I think this is so cute. So this is a leather woven little mini bag, kind of like a, you could like slink, wear it over your shoulder, I think. Um, but it's like a little cinch drawstring style bag. So cute. It's leather, it's vintage, and I just think this would be a really sweet gift to someone that is looking for a little bag or you just like their style and think this would kind of fit in with their style. So that is the last little thing. So that is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please do not forget to go check out the link below and download Karma. Please do not forget to go check out the link below and download Karma. They are so helpful when you're saving money and shopping online. So I highly, highly recommend. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.